Being uh, February for, for the uh, Launch of the Lions Club. Uh, welcome aboard, everybody. Uh, it's great to have y'all here. Um, uh, uh, so we'll get started. Uh, Ryan, would you lead us in the pledge? And Ryan Catherine, would you lead us in the invocation? After that, uh, please rise, folks. To the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Bow your heads, please. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for the many blessings that you grace us with every day. We especially thank you for the ability to gather together as lions. We ask your grace on those that could not be with us, heal those that are sick and bring those members back to us. We ask your Lord to be with us tonight as we discuss learning our line calendar and our upcoming businesses, business efforts, and guide and direct us in every way possible. In this we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Make a motion to approve the agenda. All right. And is there a second? Second. Okay. Uh, all right. Any discussion? Uh, and all in favor of approving the agenda signify by saying aye. 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 Uh, all opposed say nay. Uh, the ayes have it above, uh, above the nose, and, uh, and the motion carries. Thank you very much, uh, Lion Catherine. Um, uh, Lion Bill, tail twister. You got anything for us tonight? Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I took a bite of a bar before. Um, in honor of our new Caribbean chapter coming together, what is your favorite Caribbean destination or where would you like to go in the Caribbean? That's part one. Part two, you pronounce it Caribbean or Caribbean? Brian, we'll start with you, Mr. President. All right. Um, I say Caribbean, uh, uh, you know, just as a preference. Um, um, and um, if I was going to go to an island, um, gosh, um, uh, so it's tough the Bahamas. First, the Bahamas? Um, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, Caribbean, having been there, spent. Taken uh, two two trips two trips three, um, two trips anyway to the to the, to the British Virgin Islands mm -hmm. sailing around the islands on a, on a, on a bear boat. Uh, I have to say Cooper Island is the most beautiful place. If you if you ever get the chance to go, there, and this was too long ago. This was uh, 30, 40 years ago. But anyway, at the time that I was there, there were Three houses on the island. That's all they were. They were part-time houses. And the only people that lived that were there were people that ran the restaurant. The restaurant generators came on at five o'clock, so you couldn't get a frozen drink before five o'clock. <laughs> but you're sitting on the beach and you're looking out across the straits to Tortola, and the sun sets across Tortola, and they had their bar set up so that the palm trees just came around and just framed it just perfectly. Mm -hmm. I'm looking out the wow. sunset. Wow. Let's yeah. go. Great question. I'm sorry. No, no, no. You want to be time. Huh? I said you will be time. Yeah. <laughs> like now I want to go. I know. Especially in this cold weather. Right. Uh, I can say I don't know, first of all, over that island. I wasn't never. But I think in summary. That because I see serial movie. Yeah. yeah. Same word is beautiful. Oh yeah. Watch the airplanes on. Is that the one that flies across? Yeah, it's um, one of, yeah, it's Bill's favorite spot. There's a bar over to the side so you don't have to sit in the sand. You just wait for the plane. And they have this flight the schedule moon. there. If you like a jet wash, breakfast today. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think cooking in. And I would say for us. For me, it's it depends on if I'm talking about a Caribbean cruise or Pirates of the Caribbean. If I'm Disney, <laughs> it goes either way. 
So, um, but as far as favorite island, I think my favorite has to be Grand Cayman mm. for the short, short uh, close second being in San Juan. But Grand Cayman has turtles, which I love, and and it's the only place I know where you can actually go to hell and and not get in trouble. <laughs> so um, they have a post office. They have a post office there. You can yeah. mail stuff, which is great. So, uh, but never stand on the corner and ask people if they'd like to drive to hell with you because they really don't get it. It's a very strange, strange experience. So. Okay. <laughs> well, so the sort of chimes in. I say Caribbean, so let's be talking about here. Obviously, Caribbean. Caribbean, right? Cool. Yeah. Um, but I would say my favorite island that I've been to, I'd say Bahamas, Nassau, Freeport, those mm. two kind of cities. Um, what's that there? Mm -hmm. oh. yeah. Cool. Right. Right. What, right. what islands to hit when you play the Lions groups? So. Yeah, like I said, mine was St. Martin just because I watched the plane thing. Yes. Yeah. I hear Aruba's in it. Aruba's famous. Yeah, I've been there for an afternoon. So I was going to make a song about it. You want many day one cruise. <laughs> hey, nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. Alright, thank you folks. I will pass it along to Brian. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Lang Bill, good job. Um, Line Tom, Secretary's Report. Would somebody like to make the uh, make the uh, typical motion? You want me to read it? Yes. I can read. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I'd make a motion that we. Uh, Bypass as part of the, uh, the agenda. Uh, we dispense with the reading of the minutes. Yeah. <laughs> is there a second? Yes. All right. Uh, any discussion? Uh, hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, any opposed? Uh, the motion carries. Uh, thank you very thank much. You. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <Let's be. laughs> uh, Lion Catherine, Treasurer's Report. We're not broke. Yay. Uh, oh, good news. Um, if I will make sure and give this information to Lion Tom to put in uh, to the email out to everybody. But basically, we've got money in the bank. Uh, dues were paid at the end of uh, for international and district were paid at the end of the month. So we got enough dues in to at least cover what we owe uh, to LCI. Um, and the only other emergency uh, information you need to know is that after our event on January 28th with the Gladiators, uh, we walked away with a $103 loss. So we did not make it, yep, between um, the sales from the tickets and um, we were expecting $350 from the Gladiators, which were the proceeds of the raffle. So okay. with our $600 investment. So if we can sell weapons, it's sweet, but it really makes sense. Exactly. Yeah. So good to learn. Yes. <clears throat> uh, thank you very much. Um, and that that uh, the, the next order of business uh, is uh, having the gladiators this morning. <laughs> <laughs> um, with your indulgence, Mr. President, can we? Um, I know Jen is here out of the graciousness of her time and, and heart, so can we switch absolutely. things around today so that she don't have, she have to listen to all our crazy? Yes, absolutely. Unless you're just dying with her. No, no, no. Let, let, let's, uh, let, let's dispense with that. And uh, John, uh, thank you so much for being here. The floor is yours. Okay. Um, I wanted to, I don't have enough for everybody because, of course, I ran out of ink. That's printing on the issue that I can share. Um, I'm just gonna hold on so I can yeah, follow along with you guys. Um, we can share too. So I want to start out with who Impact 46 is. Um, we're a fairly newish nonprofit. Um, we incorporated in 2017, um, but have a longstanding um, love for the city of Lawrenceville. Um, the the actual nonprofit. Uh, began as a prayer group out of Rightsville United Methodist Church. Um, and those people, uh, a group of uh, community leaders that love to be in Lawrenceville, 
recognized there were some things that they wanted to see changed, but kind of took a Nehemiah approach and just sat <clears throat> for a little bit. Um, when I say a little bit, I mean eight years. Um, and just prayed and uh, networked and tried to hear from the community. Um, so their approach was to listen to the community before doing anything. Um, so in 2017, um, we incorporated, um, and I came on in January of 2018 as the first executive director. So um, we are fairly new in that way. Um, so I come from a um, community development background. Um, a lot of my work was done in Augusta, Georgia. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, I love Augusta, um, but was called back here. So I'm from Lawrenceville, grew up here, went to Columbia High School. Ooh, cool. so, um, we weren't clusters back then, but that would be <laughs> my cluster um, if we had to uh, phrase it that way. But a um, little bit about Impact 46, we we're a faith based community development nonprofit. Um, we're really looking to impact people and improve cities, but we do it through strategic partnerships. So uh, if I can explain our role, it's to kind of sit in the middle and pull people together out of silos to work on behalf of the people that we serve in order to improve cities. So um, there's our website if you want to learn a little bit more about us. Um, but I wanted to share a little bit about what we're doing in 2022. Um, it's kind of a um, One of the things is moving into this space and we're calling it the first center for us. Um, would love for you guys to kind of hear that vision. Um, okay. First stands for um, for initial response and supportive transition. Right. So as a nonprofit um, in, in partnerships with other people, that's how we're trying to serve Lawrenceville community um, is to provide an intensive response, but really support those transitions. Um, we work ideally with those that are in true crisis. Mm -hmm. um, so we do a lot of homelessness prevention, addiction prevention, but then we also do a lot of development stuff with students. Um, and so I'll share a little bit more about that. Um, so we have the recast grant that we were awarded this year um, back in July. Um, it's a five year grant um, that's given to the city of Lawrenceville, but we're a partner of that. Um, and I'll share a little bit about the services that we'll provide. Um, and then in each response center that we have, we serve at least 150 households per response center. Um, so the Lawrenceville response center will be housed out of here. Okay. We will serve our homeless uh, families, as well as those that are in um, So we're doing a major campaign with that to expand to potentially two more locations in Gwinnett County. Um, we're also in the efforts of expanding our summer of impact, which is our paid internships for junior seniors and graduating seniors mm -hmm. out of Central Gwinnett and Discovery Cluster. Okay. Um, and then this year we're looking at really helping and working with the city to develop what's called a city report card to help residents know how healthy is Lawrenceville. And so there'll be several different areas that we measure um, on healthiness. So the first center, like I said, um, that's what we're kind of calling this um, and our partnerships um, through that um, really kind of encompasses what we're trying to do, which is intensely respond to people that are in crisis and support their transition to self-sufficiency and sustainability. And so the okay. partners are in recast as well as the Lawrenceville Police Department. Um, so if you um, will look at, at what we're trying to do within this space, specifically, it's a collaborative space that we're trying to, to use where um, we are working with four major um, partners to provide mental health evaluations for our homeless residents, um, stabilization and housing services, which is what Impact 46 and our Lawrenceville Response Center does. Mm -hmm. um, mental health supportive services for students and families. Um, and then we provide the intensive case management. And then um, our, our other partner, GCO, provides employment mentoring. Okay. So again, we're working with families that are in true crisis. And through those partnerships, um, it's our, our goal to go deeper with families than to go wider, necessarily. Um, so a lot of those times what we found as we've been doing this work in Lawrenceville, is that in the social service realm, a lot of people who are in crisis have to go to many different places to receive lots of services. And so we're kind of bringing that all in one house and one location. Um, and that really helps families quicker. Um, and it also expands their network. Um, so um, they're able to uh, recover uh, a lot faster and get onto the road of self-sufficiency and 
sustainability. So we're really supporting that transition and crisis um, and stabilization. And these are the partners that are involved in that. These are also partners of Recast. Um, so an additional thing that we are doing is bringing in on the Lawrenceville uh, Police Department and their community mm -hmm. response team, which is kind of the next explanation after Recast. Um, so the community response team is made up of three people. Um, it's, a, it's a specialty kind of task force within the Lawrenceville Police Department. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, um, it's kind of one of its kind in Gwinnett County. Uh, so what we've seen is that um, a lot of people who are in crisis, especially our homeless population, um, there's a lot of mental health that um, is undiagnosed in those situations. And so instead of the police having to handle that, who are not trained mental health clinicians, um, we have a designated officer and two mental health clinicians from UPA. And together that's the community response team and they go out into the field and they're called out um, and working with our homeless population. And so we are one of the housing providers. Um, so one of the things that we will be doing is working with them uh, to bring those that are homeless and living in the woods. So instead of going to the police department to do an assessment, they will come here and day and be assessed, as well as receive housing for the citizen. So that kind of brings us to the building. We're trying to create a very neutral space that is both welcoming and inviting but also provides the services needed for those that are in crisis. Yeah. So when you first walk in, what we want to see is kind of a welcome center, so where they can sit and relax. It's not a jail. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's, not, it's, not, it's not scary. In fact, yeah. it's inviting. Um, and so we're going to have a kids' corner and lots of books and just different things because um, we encounter a lot of single females with children. Mm. And that's typically the population that we serve. Um, and then we'll have some tables so kids can spread out and you know do some coloring activities while we're having interviews. So that's why the, the desks are set up so we can interview um, the families and do a full intake assessment, gather the history, understand truly what is happening, and so we can best um, assess so that we can get them the, the the right help and put them on the right path. Um, so that's why we call us what we need to do very intensive case management because mm -hmm. um, we agree to work with families for up to 90 days. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll provide housing um, for 90 days and assist them. And then we work with our partners if there's extension. You think they'll be intimidated by the lock? We'll have that open okay. during the day. Yeah. Um, so the gate was put up by the city that had nothing to do with us, okay. this is the dumping. Apparently, uh -huh. there's a major dumping issue <laughs> um, that was happening, so it's causing resources for them to come out and clean up every single day. And, mm -hmm. um, so that, that was nothing against what we had. Oh, no, I just didn't yeah. know about that. <laughs> <laughs> it was great timing, it was good timing, but just, you know, we didn't, we didn't ask for that. They told us they oh. didn't ask because there's a major dumping problem. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, so to keep this clean and inviting and yeah. nice as well. So. Um, so that kind of that's hopefully the space makes a little bit more sense when yeah. you know how we're going to use it. Um, and so, and uh, shall we find our TV and our Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, lots of cartoons. No, yeah, um, yeah. no, but there'll be meetings and different things that we'll be yeah. doing as we work with, with different partners across the country. Yeah. Um, but it really is it's a it's a collaborative space with different partners. So some of our partners will come in and do employment coaching. Um, mm -hmm. So that's where we'll have those tables. Um, and then we'll do some financial management and different things that are happening mm -hmm. uh, during that time. So that's kind of the space and the partners. Um, but I also wanted to share a little bit about specifically what we've done with our Lawrenceville Response Center over the past 20 months. Mm -hmm. um, so we have served um, over 1,500 people, um, mm -hmm. and half of those are children. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that's a very important um, statistic and measurement. Um, because we're really trying to change the course of Lawrenceville um, and working with children uh, definitely does that. Mm -hmm. So that's why we directly work with our schools. So we get a lot of referrals from the social workers within those two clusters. Mm -hmm. um, so we have two underperforming high schools. Um, we have um, the lowest area median income, which means that we are not a very healthy city. Um, and we have 90% free and reduced lunch these schools. So when we think about how to care for our city, care for our residents, um, there's lots of work that has to be done. Um, and so we kind of meet those families that are in true crisis. So we get a lot of 
90%? How's that possible? <laughs> uh, I, I'll come back another time. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I don't see I don't see that much that the that would make that seem possible. Well, yeah, that's very true. <laughs> Schools are a lot different and um, I mean we're we're not a very healthy city when it comes to economics. Let's say we're a slum city. Um, no, but I mean, it's when you look at Winnet County, we're the worst in terms of um, how much. And there's a lot of many homeless too, Tom, that are living in the extended stay motels. Yeah, and a lot, almost all of those kids are on free lunch. Yeah. yeah. So we do. Ninety percent. Yeah. Percent. yeah. But, 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 but that's, that's across training. the county. Uh, not, that's not Lawrenceville specifically. That's across Winnet County. You're talking about areas in Norcross, in you know, in the outer edges near Lithonia. There, there are a lot of schools that are you know in poor areas. It's not just the Brookhavens and the and the Bufords and the. Yeah, I mean, I, I look at what's being built. I look what's here, and I see a very affluent population. A lot of those kids go to private school. Okay, but that, that's a that's an interesting thing. <laughs> Um, I mean, we pull statistics from Winnet County, so that's that's where we get our information. Um, but but yeah, it's it's either one thing. Um, we do a lot of work with extended stays. Um, so there used to be five extended stays. We have done two relocation projects with those extended stays to relocate those families who are living in temporary housing, um, such as a hotel room. Um, we work with the city to relocate them permanently. Um, so stabilizing families has a huge correlation with education. Yes. Um, so those families that are living in extended stays, that's not a stable environment. Sure. Um, and then when you top it on with a pandemic <laughs> yes. um, and digital learning, um, you've got a, a pretty right. significant issue. Um, so that's why. And, and by the way, I don't think yeah. you're in, uh, certainly understand the no, problem, yeah. but 90% does seem. It's a lot. It's huge. Huh. It's huge. It's a huge problem. Um, and that's that's part of why we're really focusing in 2022. More than uh, three centers, then. <laughs> I mean, we're, seriously. I mean, we do, we do, but um, we we just that's started. 450 families, right? 450 clients. Yeah. yeah. What is what is? So we're we're working with in Gwinnett. Mm -hmm. I mean, Lawrence. In Lawrence, yes, sir. Lawrence uh, there are no Lawrence for city schools. Um, the city doesn't have to have this. No, 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 yeah, the city doesn't, but we have two clusters, um, Central Winnet Cluster, which is seven schools, are all in within the city limits. And then Discovery High School has two schools that are in the city limits. Um, so those are the schools that we pay attention to. That's over there on Old Yeah, this. Yeah. It's the newer high school. Yeah, it's four next to the elementary school. Mm -hmm. um, so since April of 2020, that's what we've been focusing on when the pandemic came in. Um, we switched gears a lot um, and really started focusing on um, homelessness prevention, innovation prevention. Um, we have a lot of families who are already in poverty, um, working certain jobs that were deeply affected by the pandemic. And so we provided um, a lot of rental assistance, $1.6 million in fact, um, in rental assistance to keep families housed. Uh, because it is twice as expensive once they've been evicted to get them back into permanent housing. Mm -hmm. um, so that's yeah, what I'm going to sound like a horrible person, Frank, as you asking this question. But at some point, you do we become an attraction for people that are in need to come to the city because you're we're doing these services? Um, no, and I can so we have a very strict way of how we work with people. Okay. We only work with those that have been unemployed. Um, so we we work with in the way that we work with our social services, we're a little bit different than the other agencies in that there's a lot of responsibility on a person. Um, so we, we don't call the people we work with clients, we call them participants um, because we are working with them. Um, and so there's there's lots of responsibility. So um, there's it's a very small percentage that work the system, but we're not the agency that really is for those type of people. We're for those that really are kind of stuck and don't know how to move forward. Um, so they, we're want, not, they want to make the effort to get uh, yeah. 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 not the ones that are. Right. 
still, like I said, work in the system and know what they go. There's plenty, I can tell you, there's plenty of agencies who don't require anything except an ID. Mm. Um, we're not one of them. <laughs> but because that's actually it. the problem. But I, think, we get but I think there are so many, and I speak about it because I work in the field and I see people. I'm sorry, I say that I don't want to talk to nobody. At least, mm -hmm. do not want to work. Right, right. But want more money. Yeah. And I get a lot of tolerance. Right. Well, it's like remote village. You know, and they, I don't know if you were at when they came and spoke to us and uh, you know, they to get in their program. It's you know, it's very strict. It's very strict, and, and it's and it, this is not permanent. This is to move. You know, this is to help you get to where you want to be. And it sounds very, very similar yeah. in in the the rules and regs part. Yeah. You know what? It's funny. They get uh, hired, but they don't have to work. I cannot come to Halloween. I cannot work <laughs> that. I cannot work Saturday. I cannot work Sunday. I cannot work evening. Oh, we close late. Blah blah blah. We have too much to do. <laughs> but I guess, want money. I guess the key in what you guys are doing is you're you dealing with somebody that's recently moved into crisis mode. Yes. They've yep. lost their job. Everything's and about to go away. They yeah. want. Well, yeah. And so what we're trying to do is them. prevent them from losing it all and yeah. having yeah. to start all over. Um, so we kind of get them in that that position. And we do have some people that I, I want to. I don't want to paint a different picture than. Um, what we really do, but we, we do have some that are living in the woods and have been in the woods for months um, that are in between jobs and have some undiagnosed situations and things that we need to address as to why they can't hold a job. Um, so that's why we work very closely with our baby response team, because um, there are some mental health things that um, are undiagnosed and well, sort of not everybody, um, but there are some things that we address. Um, so we, we do work with those predominantly. That is our preference is to work with the group that if they don't receive a one month assistance, it puts them on the street and it puts the kids without a home. It then affects their academics. Um, it affects the family in so many different ways. So we try to intervene right in that kind of tender spot, which is what we call crisis. Um, um, may I ask you something? Yes, sir. No, you're fine. Uh, you didn't realize you were going to be thrown under the window. No, it's good. <laughs> I actually love it that you guys are getting um, to want to hear about it. Unfortunately, when you spoke about students and that, I remember uh, we had periodic private weekend when young men, which come in our plaza, moved from door to door gladly. He performed some music. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I read from his big cardboard, his student, but he needs help. I provide music in order to receive some money mm -hmm. to help himself, it is true. So, can we send here? So, I'll tell you how we do that at okay. the very end, if that's okay. Yeah. Um, so, just wanted to kind of share what we do and uh, share a little bit. I'm not going to read you guys in half these uh, yeah. for your uh, reference. Um, but want to talk a little bit about, you know, just the specifics with um, our impact report, just so you guys can see um, what we did in 2021. Um, so we served um, 728 people. Again, half of those are children. Yes. Um, we prevented 76 evictions, um, and we moved 49 families into permanent housing. Um, and the cost to do that uh, was $774,000. Uh, so that's just one response. So when you say that we need three, I hear you, but then I also know how much that costs. <laughs> it's about $1,100. Yeah, it's, it's approximately what we do. Uh, and again, the average family doesn't need three months assistance, but some do. So some just need a month because they lost their job. So because of the type of job they, they were working, they've lost two weeks of wages. So when we provide them assistance, it gets them ahead um, and they don't get behind. Um, so it keeps them housed and it keeps them good. Um, and this is a, a picture of a lady uh, when we first started. One of the things that we recognized that um, a lot of moms, single moms, were letting their kids use their cell phones <laughs> to do homework. 
um, because we went digital very, very fast in our schools. Um, but then parents were losing their jobs and didn't have a way or the skill set to get back to being employed. Um, so we were able to provide 55 computers to some of our, our families mm -hmm. so that they would then learn the skill set to help them get back to employment. Um, so it's one of my favorite pictures. She just looks overjoyed. <laughs> um, and then one of the other things that we do, I mentioned, is our summer of impact. Um, that's, this is part of the recast. Um, so these are some of our students from our cohort in 2021. Um, but this is on the other side. So with the, with the Lawrenceville Response Center and the, the rent assistance and the utilities and the transportation assistance that we provide, on the other side of that is kind of poverty prevention, which is really investing in our schools. Um, and so uh, we, we've really seen how um, summer internships, paid internships, um, can really help transform the trajectory of these students. Um, because both of the schools we work with are academy schools, they're really focused on helping students understand at an early age what they're excited about, what they want to commit to, versus going to college and getting a four-year degree and lots of money in debt <laughs> um, and having no idea what they want to do because they've never had experience. Um, so we're starting really early um, at Gen 16. And so we've worked very hard with a lot of local employers who are hiring these students um, and so the, the students are having experience, it's, it's helping increasing their network, um, and it's giving them a resume. Um, and so a lot of the students are going back to school energized and excited, and they're now able to attach work with academics. And so it kind of makes sense. Um, so we really like to serve those that are in the middle, that are not necessarily failing and, and about to drop out, but they're kind of the unfiliated that don't really get noticed in school um, because they kind of make B's and C's. Um, and we've seen that the summer of impact really helps that turn around when they return back to school. At the Starberry High School, I mean, they have that junior achievement program over there. Uh -huh. It's quite extensive. I mean, yes. I was in there and they have different stores set up inside the building. Yeah. Students can go and get an idea of what it's like to work in those facilities. Yeah, they're one of our partners. So the, we have several students that work right here in the summer. Right, okay. Yeah, so um, that's one of the things. And then lastly, it's just um, not that you guys want to see our pictures, but um, in April of 2020, I was the only employee of Impact 46. So we've had um, instrumental growth. Um, as you can see, we've added a lot of uh, different uh, folks, uh, many case managers. Um, and then those that deal directly with our um, recast grants and education pipelines that we're creating. So that's a little bit about us. Um, be free you guys to keep and just learn more. Um, and then all the websites are associated at the bottom. All the way May, may I ask um, John Malak? Is that uh, Tom Malak? It is. So the co op is one of our partners. Um, so we refer a lot of folks um, because of the demographic that we work with, we refer a lot to the co op. Yes. And the co op refers people to us as well. So um, Tom and Don go together. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, Are you also working with street ones? You're not. You can work directly just with the co op. Okay. okay. So I guess we turned over this building the only time. <laughs> yes. We did turn it over. We uh, want to work with you guys. Yeah. Um, no, so it's a shared we, space. We turned it over to the city of the Oh, yeah. 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 So this is it's a great space for many reasons. One, it's open, it's in a park, so we have kids coming, we have access to green space, it's on a bus line. Um, so for us, this was like too good to be true. We kind of found out about it. Um, yeah, so we're we're very excited, but we want to work with you guys and you know help set up anything you guys need. Um, but we will be here Monday through Thursday, nine to five, um, working and working with families and helping them transition. So it's a little bit about Impact 46 and maybe questions you can Awesome. Yeah. Do we want the, the two seminars that we have, how money works. Yeah, I was thinking about that. So we, we partnered with um, Karen's app and the group how money works .org, and they are actually going to be the presenting their, their program based on the book how money works. Okay. Um, that's the two we have come up in March, right? So um, we can bring certain send you a flyer yeah. you know, for that. If that's something that you need somebody, you know, it's free for them to attend. All, you know, and if you have somebody that 
Well, it's to come, you just have to let me know. So I say just about months that if it, um, we're just now really starting to uh, get the word out. So um, obviously don't want to, you know, have too many people in here as we talked before, yeah. just, you know, social distancing as it is. I don't think I can fit 50 people in here. Uh, but I think we could do 20. Yeah, I initially, I initially set it for a max of 30 was my original law. But like I said, the nice thing is it hasn't gotten to the part where I've got 50 people meeting out the door. So right. we can always add it a day, but you know, um, but I'll get that over to you unless that we're uh, putting it out on the web right and you know, right. platforms like that. Okay. Working. We've already had three people see it that I don't even know who they are, but they found it when they signed up. So, okay. so okay. but we're listen, we're gonna reach out to high schools and the churches and whatnot, just okay. you know, because if there's no no age limit, just come on and, and learn something. <laughs> Did you really get on the lines? I don't actually. Why are you going to learn? Well, uh, we are the uh, we are the world's largest uh, um, volunteer organization around the world. Um, we've been uh, we've been around for over 100 years. Uh, we uh, uh, in uh, you know, one of the main things we do is uh, uh, serve the. Uh, you know, the blind and visually impaired and prevent on this, but we do all sorts of different things uh, in, our, in, in the communities that we serve. Um, and we're, uh, we're on the ground and over to various countries and to political areas um, uh, with uh, over 1.4 million of us worldwide. And, um, you know, it is. Um, it is so great that, um, that we've been able to, to help y'all and uh, definitely uh, want, to, want to be involved in, in, uh, in helping your organization uh, do what it's going to do uh, to uh, make the large scale a better place. Okay. Well, like I said, I know, you know you're seeing up this building as it is, but at least then you're, you're always welcome to attend any meeting. And, you know, interested in joining you're more than welcome that door is always open Absolutely. we're always looking for for members that have a heart for the community and, you know we said our our motto is we serve so we try, you know, try to put ourselves out there as much as possible we don't uh, with the housing authority um right as his organization we try to help his group out as much as we can they you know, might so work because it's not that they want to be. So right. streetwise so come on you know, anywhere we can Anywhere you know, people learning. So, if you have uh, participants that you think would behoove to get involved in a civic organization for their for their well-being, yeah, we're here. Okay. Especially the kids and you know, the business shops. Yeah, so that's we've been dancing in the county. In the county, they approached us in the middle of the pandemic, and then because the pandemic continued, we pushed out and put on all put on. We, we would very much like to uh, team up with the other lines, you know, in County and help with the vision screenings. That have to do, you know, they do mass screenings of every third grader each year. They're already behind because of the pandemic. But a lot of the principals, um, at least the ones I've talked to, we would very much like to be able to have their entire school scanned because you don't always catch it right at that third grade age. Sometimes it develops afterwards. So. Um, we're, you know, trying to find ways to uh, work in the, our state White House, um, White House Foundation Alliance, um, help get more screeners, to help get more training, you know, and, um, and again, that's that's a whole other conversation with the White House as far as mm -hmm. eye exams, eye surgeries, classes, you know, getting eye care, period. So, you know, might be a, um, a way to connect you guys with them. You know, they have mobile vision offices they just have to have the optometrist to to work it so there's you know i said lots of opportunities there okay. i think so for sure so any questions about i want to make sure we do this space the way that you guys would like it again it's we want you guys to make sure we, we don't think more we're ahead than we do so <laughs> Yeah, a space we need you know, for our meeting. That's just well, you know, that's so, those two seminars. Okay. You know, yeah, that's what Twenty people. Mm -hmm. you know, with your permission, we'll turn these tables and absolutely. You know, and any, anything kind of this space over is multifunction, and we want it to be collaborative. And okay. yeah. um, 
Um, and I know the instructor wants to do a site visit, so okay. once like I said, give you time to yeah. finish getting settled and all that, then we can maybe we just meet up with him and his Perfect. companions and yeah. talk through it and the space, you know, for whatever reason. If the cable's not in or, you know, whatever, yeah. then, you know, we, I don't think he has to have internet for his presentation. Okay. He just needs we, the TV. We will leave this here. Um, so this is just, it's a great, it covers this entire area. So There's a stronger than ours. I couldn't yeah. get mine. Oh, no, 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 more than welcome to use it. Uh, hopefully, we'll have the internet and we won't have any problems. Um, so, um, yeah, it's, it's on order. <laughs> We're just waiting for it to be installed. Well, yeah. um, the boxes in the corner are eyeglasses we've been collecting from local doctors. So yeah, he told us we had to leave those. We'll, we'll, get, we'll get them out of the way because <laughs> that's obviously going to intrude on somebody's work space. Um, so, we'll, we'll go ahead and get those out of here uh, tonight. Okay. And, like I said, the the paper goods and the stuff we had in the kitchen, I went ahead and pulled out. So the cabinets um, to the right of the sink are now wide open. So a couple of We did. Yeah, we did move all the folding chairs into the nook um, and the tables. Yeah. So it's kind of put away and stuff. Um, we did want to see if we bring in just some nice comfy chairs. Will you need all of these chairs? Um, other than for the right now. Well, we, we have got, the we got all the folding chairs yeah. in there. We, we put all of those in a nice neat and the grills back there, all of the stuff that you guys will just kind of reorder. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. um, because the city can take these if you're not using them. Um, but if, if you are, we will, we will leave them. But we were going to bring in you know, nice chairs, you know, chairs like this that are a little comfier. And, mm -hmm. um, these are uh, nice chairs. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you got a 75 inch TV cut. So it's supposed to be installed tomorrow. Okay, so yeah. is it going to be, are you going to be doing Zoom meetings through it or do you guys plot that part in? Yeah. We will so you be. have a, a PC for it? We do. So we will have Zoom set up. Um, so we'll be doing everything. We'll have um, the Chromecast to be able to do it from Windows okay. and PCs, and then we'll have Apple TV. Max. Um, so we'll have to think, you know, that not everything wow. is the same. Uh, but yeah, the whole thing is to be smart, <laughs> be able to cast. So you guys would have full access to that. So you uh, won't have to set up your TV. Um, so it'll be for you guys to use whenever you're here. Nice. Thank you. Yeah. So you're, so the visual, you got a, a webcam for, for the TV or is it mm -hmm. one? Mm -hmm. Comes with one. Okay. Uh, Take all our job. Okay. <laughs> and that was the point was to like to have it to where we can all use it when needed, right. uh, making sure that you guys have like, nice technology as well. Okay. Uh, sure. well. Other than Pete, is any anybody in love with those chairs? The the no. chairs are not my favorite. No, they're not my favorite. I'd rather have the folding chairs than the red ones. Folding chairs are nothing. The red ones are not comfortable. No, they're not. <laughs> They're not my face. Yeah. Um, so we can have the city move these. They'll take them um, to where all other older furniture goes to die, which is, <laughs> which is the third floor of the Lawrence Police Department. Um, we found that out because we have these desk noted, donated. If you ever need furniture um, that's not new but not so bad that you can always go there, they have tons. Wow. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know why I don't speak with him. Yeah. But it my mind when I see the new. The so the best TV. place for him to go, let me point you there, um, is he can go to this website, and it's very easy. It's on. We just go to cityresponse.org. You can apply for shelter assistance. At the, at the risk of, of Kathy stumbling, a small question. Yeah. What's, what's, oh, I know, it's getting close to 8 o'clock. Well, yeah. uh, we I, I should say clock. Well, no, right? no, 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 it's me. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm the timekeeper. What is it like? For you, working in services, when you encounter somebody on the street, 
Do you try to fix them? I mean, if they're asking you for money, do you give them money? We, we don't hand out any monetary. Anything. I'm just trying to do personal. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, it's been my, my rule. Um, we we do a full assessment, um, and we will we will assist you if we can find that one you have an adequate need and that you're willing to work with us. So we're very clear up front what it means to work with Lawrenceville Response Center um, and what it means for you to be involved in that process. And so we ask every client um, or participant, what is your goal um, long term? Um, so I can have an idea of what I think. You should be like and where you should be, and that may not be what you want for your life. No, maybe I wasn't clear. I mean, yeah. What I meant was you're at Walmart. Uh huh. Somebody doesn't know. Yes. Walks up to you and asks you for money. Yeah. Or gives you the sob story my car broke down. Yeah. I'm trying to get your food. What do you do? I open my phone and we apply for an application on our website. <laughs> okay. I give one my little homeless bag. Yeah. It's like keeping the car. Yeah. Biking battles gifts are good to my wallet. I will say something <laughs> coming is instead of you driving to deal with that, we would prefer that you call the community response team. Okay. Because they are the ones Very that. Good idea. They're the hey, ones that are trained. Somebody over here to help you. That's right. Yeah. They're the ones that are trained to do that. We got people. We know people that can help you. Um, okay. Yeah. So what we're trying, we're working on is there's. Um, a one pager that will be giving to every, every business in the city limits of Lawrenceville. Uh -huh. um, and so that will also be on the website. Uh, but what we want is everybody to call the non emergency number to the Lawrenceville Police Department. Uh -huh. There's an option, um, option three. Uh, so when you call it, it goes directly to the community response team and they respond 24 hours a day. Awesome. Sweet. Yeah. Okay. That way we feel like we're doing, we are doing something. Yes. yes. And, and, you also aren't having to make a personal decision without all the information. Oh, I know, I know it's so but. hard, you know. So um, we want to make sure that there's a specialty team that's dealing directly with that. Okay. Right. Yeah. Good question. Cool. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah. 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 They just the email we got from Pete said okay. whatever our door code is is our gate code. That's okay. all right. Just want to make sure that's working for you guys. Um, all right. Well, you guys have my information. Yes. Thank you for today. Thank you. Thank you. No, thank you. Appreciate it. for your effort for everything for the Lord, and I hope we find people who really uh, your interest and to. Do something with uh, the life, yeah. not just waiting for as, as, as. Yeah, it's a very small percentage that work the system. There's a lot of people that just they really do, they just don't know how to do it. Thanks again. Thank you so much. Good night. Drive safely. Thank you. 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 Uh, we're we live very long and we'll try and do this as quickly as possible. Um, uh, uh, let me just learn a quick recap. I'm only going to recap for the lads because I'm still waiting on information from the swarm. The swarm. Okay. Um, as I said in my treasures report, it, you know, we do have a bit of a loss on that. Right. So, um, but it was a, as Brian and I talked about it after the game, it was a lot of exposure for us, you know, people seeing the lions out. Tom was wrangling people, trying like crazy to get them to you know, learn more about the lines. And I think the best thing we did for that event was um, on the table, you know, people, you know, for sure, the supporting event, you know, we're going to be taking brochures and stuff. But we did a really big QR code that was linked to our new, <clears throat> our old but improved website. Um, and that at least they could see the calendar of events, they could see stuff coming down that what we have going. And a lot of, you know, a lot of people were very willing to stop. And at least get the QR code, get the link to the website. Whether you know how many of them then went and spent any time, I have no way to to measure that. But at least people were seeing us. They weren't just, you know, they, they weren't were, being rude. They weren't, you know, they were at least. We were starting out with, a, with every, 
I was helping him to start with everything, but I was taking pictures of them with the Bible. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's a great idea. It was a great idea. Then they had the phone out and Tom yeah. would point out that and then they're just going to take a picture of the QR code. So it's a good trip. People were sure. asking, you know, like some people were asking, some people were, oh, well, my brother was on. You know, it was just a lot of getting to have a, even a 30 second conversation with people. So it was, and then to come back feedback. a week later for the swarm, you know, and then again, we're right there. We're, we're in the thick of it. Um, but uh, like I said, I, I think it was well worth doing. Um, do I want to do another 50-50 raffle? Uh, right now, but you know, but again. Well, I, I, I'm interested in doing it again to see what we can really do if we were selling. I would almost rather do it with a swarm, to be honest with you, okay. just based on some of the feedback I got. But the other piece of it is, is that the thing that, that we, as I feel like the lines as a district, whether you want to break it down to the zone or the district level, we were there that Friday night. Alpharetta was coming in Sunday because it was it was childhood cancer weekend. I get it. You know, it was a great time to be there. Yeah. Two different salespeople dealing with each club. You know, they weren't doing the raffle. They weren't. They didn't have a table. They were just bringing a room. You know, to, I guess trying to sell some tickets. You know, how much more success would we have had combining efforts? Yeah. Versus, hey, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. The, you know, right. not that we couldn't do both nights. I just like I said, just trying to combine efforts, and I think that's. You need a large group. Yeah, you yeah. really do to make that to make that work. Kudos to the QR you are on Yes. Yeah, that's great. Awesome, awesome. So, next. All right, next. Uh, we've kind of already uh, uh, discussed uh, how money works. Uh, yep. In, in, in the in the last uh, in the last few minutes. Um, uh, I, I assume there's nothing else to no. and then we'll move on. Uh, at the previous meeting, we need to talk about scheduling uh, a uh, a specific uh, meeting somewhere at some of the time for a future planning purposes. That is correct. Um, um, I had said I would throw out some days. I just haven't had a chance with all the, the game stuff, so I don't want to get that out. And if we can, I will pick two or three days and then everybody can choose what works for them. Fantastic. Wherever we get the majority, probably on a Sunday afternoon. All right. Yes. Yeah, where we're not trying to. Not, not this time. No. no. Oh, come on. <laughs> so we're having a Super Bowl party, is what you're saying. <laughs> we need to do long range planning in the commercials. Or do we do that during the game and just watch the commercials? Which way are we? I don't know. Where are we? All right. Uh, and moving on, uh, there is a, uh, a zone meeting in Norcross uh, on Thursday night. Um, I don't, uh, to be quite honest with you, I'm not sure how that's going to work if he's having a meeting last. Uh, yes, it's the zone chair. He's the zone chair. Well, I, you know, let me just put it this way. I'm, I'm going to call him tomorrow and see, you know. And, and see how he is and what the what the verdict is on that one. Okay. Um, uh, my my original uh, my original plan was to, to uh, uh, zoom in um, without knowing exactly what the Vegas and schedule uh, out of my house is uh, on Thursday yet. Um, what time uh, is that meeting? It's seven o'clock. Okay. I have rehearsal till six thirty, so I, if I can zoom in, I will. If not, I'll, I'll have to miss. Sorry. I don't think I have anything to add to that meeting anyway, other than talking about how many works. But. All right. Then I have that. So I. Okay. Probably I'm gonna be home to seven. Yeah. But you probably have a new president. Oh, yeah. tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow, you can't go to that way, man. Okay. It's gonna happen. I know it is. You're gonna have to go to this one. Yeah. Ooh. All right. Um. Uh. We also have uh, uh, our uh, the uh, district uh, cabinet meeting and convention uh, on um, on March the fifth. Just uh, <coughs> that does conflict with our. It, 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 you know, it does con uh, conflict a little bit. Um. But you know. There doesn't need to be a bunch of us here for that right. for that Saturday. Right. So, yeah, you and I will talk about that. Yeah. So, and, and like I said, if we don't get enough, if we don't get at least 10 people, we're, we'll just 
either move them to Thursday or find, you know, tell them we'll have to put them or something. Right. I've got to get that number from Karen of how how minimal, how, how small a class that she would be. Right. Because it's, it's a lot to have somebody drive all the way out here and set it all up and, yeah. and then two people show up. <laughs> well, sure. We're, we're talking about oh, okay. it. So we're good. That's it. It's okay. I just have to ask that question. Um, all right. Uh, moving on to new business. Um, uh, we had uh, we had uh, a um, uh, we had some guests at the Storm Game the other night. Uh, the new uh, liaison uh, uh, live school liaison with the George Lions Light Box uh, and his wife uh, came uh, and uh, they are uh, they are starting a uh, a brand new initiative. Uh, 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 Strides for Sight and Sound, um, and uh, it's going to be on uh, on uh, Saturday, April twenty third, um, and uh, they are um, they are um, uh, wanting Lions clubs to start teams, uh, and uh, and to be a part of uh, of the event, um, and. Um, uh, technically, uh, there, uh, there needs to be a motion or something to participate in that. So um, I, I think it's something very worthwhile. I, I love the project that they're that they're working on, um, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm already I've already heard from a couple of people that want to get involved already. Right. So um, um, Let me add to that, if I may. Go ahead, the walk will be, I think you can do it virtually or you can go down to Shambly. It's going to be at a local park, not far from the Lighthouse's building. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be less than a mile. Mm -hmm. It's going to start at nine in the morning. So, you know, um, basically you can walk your neighborhood and get it done because it's not even going to be a mile walk or you can, you know, go out and see who all shows up. It's an inaugural piece, so they're not looking at, you know, they're not trying to, you know, Break any crowd records, whatnot, because they are a little concerned about social distancing. You know, um, they don't want thousands and thousands of people showing up. Um, you also raise money via your team. Yes, you yes. raise money via the teams. That's the, the real purpose of it, is obviously to raise awareness and, and to raise money. Um, I, had, I had already told Brian that I was very interested in, in either helping put a team together or doing a team, but I've also learned that I will be in Phoenix that Saturday. So I will be doing it virtually. Okay, so um, we'll do our mile of the Yeah, we'll do our mile of the Do the moving sidewalk. Yeah, exactly. That's how we're That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I'll make a motion that, um, that the Lawrence Lions um, put together a team. All right. To participate either virtually or in person. Okay. Uh, do we have a second? Second. All right. Any discussion? Uh, hearing none, uh, all in favor? Uh, 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 any of us? Hearing none, the motion carries. Uh, I have some information I was emailed like, like, like an hour ago. Um, and and I'll, uh, um, I'll go through, through with that and, and continue uh, talking with, uh, uh, with the live house. Um, Sir? Fran and Lisa. Fran and Lisa, yes. Did you have any pictures? Uh, I have did they one take picture. pictures or did they get pictures? They got a picture of me. He or? took about four. I have them. Okay. Yes. Sure. Uh, they came over today. I just yes, slammed. Um, so yeah, he took a few. But, um, <coughs> we definitely have the majority of those. Yes. So, and I'm sure he'd like first. I, I wanted to go through them before we sent him all of them. Yeah. There were a few on there that were faces or. It's not a good photo. Well, it's just yeah. Good. Can I took the just rate like pictures where the the face of the person is like it's not it's not a it may be a a in motion picture but their face looks like they're pissed. Mm -hmm. AKA me. <laughs> so I don't want that going anywhere. That's fine. It happens you know, you're trying Here's to talk somebody and you just catch somebody in a and it just doesn't look right. Yeah. Interesting. So, I'm sorry. No. My resting at you. Thank you. Thank I'm you. sorry that I caught him like that. I missed no. about half of the pictures that I took. You're fine. But I will get them to you. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Line Catherine, pleasure. 
I, I'm giving you guys, everybody here, a copy. Again, Tom, we can, my, my hope was that um, just kind of go ahead and, and preliminary discussion about this really quick to then turn it over for vote to the membership at the next meeting. Um, much like we did the year before, what you have before you in the first column is um, what money we have raised, what, what money we have to play with, what our, what our working figure is, then in, under community support, the list of organizations that I am proposing that we did, we use that money to spread it out. And in that, um, and then out of what's left over, we have to keep so much in reserve to cover the initial purchase of the bonds in September. We always have to put a half deposit down. And of course, the deposits for the golf tournament, things like money we're going to need for that. Um, basically, the second column is what we did the prior year. So you can kind of see what we're basing it on. And the third column is the difference. You'll notice that we're increasing the amount of K over the prior year. Um, and in the notes column, I made a note of which global initiative correlates to the recipient. So we will actually be able to donate funds that will have an impact on all eight global initiatives. That's the awesome. So yeah, treasure. Uh, you will do. <laughs> Don't I always? Yes, you do. Yes. Try. Um, despite the fact that the, the Gladiators was was not a, a winning proposition, I still wanted to go ahead and, and do a, a small donation to the Apple Cancer Center. Um, and we did up our do, uh, up our um, donation over last year to the White House. Yeah. Um, I am not expecting the, the, the White House or the Swarm game to be a, um, I think it will also be a loss. I just don't know how big a loss. So um, that being said, kind of kept it. It will be less loss. than this though, right? I doubt, I think it will be more. Uh, okay. Yeah. Right. Well, I said, that's my guess. So, I don't know how many tickets we actually sold. Okay. I will find that out tomorrow. Okay. I counted how many people I knew we sold out of who I saw at the game. Right about four. See, that's, that's my blessing I didn't know about. So um, John and Mark are calling me tomorrow with the numbers. So then I'll know. So that number will change. So that's why I didn't want to give a full report on this one yet. Because right. I was kind of hoping that somehow miraculously 50 people showed up want to get to that. Right. Uh, yeah. But well, yeah, can I get to apologize? I, I assume you knew that I had sold quite a few bags of balls prior to you saying $20 for that. Oh, we thought we sold a crap ton at 10 bucks a piece. Then it hit me. Oh my God, we're giving these away. Stop. <laughs> oh my. That's yeah. why you don't let the treasurer do math in her head. But then he said, you know, he was looking at giving us that opportunity again. So yeah. we, learned, we learned a lot. I'm all hoping tomorrow's conversations come back. Yeah. We're going to bring a lot of Kroger bags or something with us to. Yeah, so we can sell more. They had some already in their swarm mm -hmm. zip bags. Yeah, or we need to have backup bags, bags in case we somebody sold those bad there. boys out. Yeah. And then it was like, we because they were buying by the dozen. Right. And they were like, yes, let's go, let's go. And then we just had this big tub of balls with nothing to put them in. And people were like, wanting a dozen. And we were like, here, here you go. You know? And we couldn't go get more bags. They couldn't go into their uh, storage. So it was that the last half of the game was more. How about six for ten? Yeah. You know, like, I'm like oh, okay, I can carry six. So that yeah, was kind of. Bill, Bill sold, what was it, thirty for twenty or something? Yeah, we sold forty for thirty. Yeah. Was it thirty for thirty? Yeah, it was thirty. Thirty for twenty. Thirty for twenty or something like that. We had yes. a great big shopping bag. We just I, like, pop them in there. Look, I enjoyed doing it. I, 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 it was I, a blast. I, and if we got the price right, let's start with. I thought it was just me. It no, it was that. all of us. We all did it. We did it for like thirty minutes, and then I was. <laughs> We were undercutting ourselves. Really <laughs> like I had to uh, come back like 10 minutes later. They said, I got to go see my receipt is. All right, I want it back. I said, well, look, you snooze, you lose. It's now $20 a bag. Oh, oh, I'm sure yeah. he was not happy. He bought it. All right. So, um, like I said, I'm perfectly fine waiting and we can have a full discussion of this next meeting as far as the budget goes. Um, just wanted to go ahead and get it out there. Yeah, gotcha. And um, I, I, I actually think that. Uh, uh, he still has a check in his way or not. 
Exactly. I know he is. So that's yeah. like you said. I, I'd almost rather table this to him. That's fine. That's that, that's perfect. That's that's that's, that's right. Okay. Um and um we've already done the building. Uh, so uh, we'll need a little bit of help getting stuff out of here. Okay. What do you want to do? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so other than that, um, do we have a motion to adjourn? Well, you skipped a bunch of things. No, we didn't. What do you skip? What? No, we Lisa's, didn't. Lisa's, the health fair. That's not on the agenda. Uh, okay. My mistake. I printed this before you gave me that. I'm sorry. This is for last year. Yeah. Uh, sorry about yeah. that. Uh, it's about two dollars. <laughs> but I printed one test thing. That's what I get from doing that. Okay. Right. Any motion to adjourn? No, I'll say yeah, that. question is, uh, I am behind my mm -hmm. rules. No. Do you just pick up your shoe? Sure? Yes. There, you have a list? Please. Yeah, and you know, it's just for this quarter only. Mm -hmm. You want to pay through 23, then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's $25, which you just paid. We are good. Thanks. If you want to pay somebody else, just let me know. I'll give you a list. We got plenty of people to add it. Oh, yeah. So I'm thinking we need to go and take the banners down. Okay. And Again, I want to say take them with us if that's the easiest. Um, so, that is why we move here quite about to be here all the time. Secretary, it is, but uh, the, 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 uh, the agreement uh, we have uh, with the city sorry. is that we are allowed right. to use this space for two days a month. To have two meetings yeah, here. I know. And we pay $10. And we pay $10 a month for that. Okay. It gives us no right to store anything. It gives us um, no right to put anything on the walls. And it gave the city complete control of this building. I went back and pulled the lease. They can put whoever they want in here. All they have guaranteed us is a space to meet in. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I want to be as respectful as possible yeah. to those that are not my yeah, yeah, yeah. I was at the city council meeting when they mm -hmm. oh, first this. Yeah, it was, uh, a couple weeks ago. Oh, so they get, yeah, they're giving this building for four years for the next four years. Knew it. Hundred dollars a month. And well, that was the deal with the Boy Scouts. All they had to do was hundred dollars. Hundred dollars a month, and they had. Well, that, that's what they were going to charge us initially. Like initially, that's what they the, wanted. The, and they have to pay for the utilities. Yeah. And they have four years, and they have an office inside City Hall too. Yep. Sweet. Yeah. Of course, it's sweet that we gave the building. Not well, that we it, 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 it still. It all. No, I said all the time on frame the picture, but. We're getting an upgrade in furniture, which is not a bad thing. It's not that service that we use back chairs. But two, it's being used for a purpose that is obviously a much, much bigger impact, you know, than than what has been sitting here empty for several years. So I'm glad it's being used for a purpose. Right. Yeah. I'm, I'm not like I said, I, I hate that it's you know, it's been very nice to have our space and we put our stuff in it and you know, but that's not what we agreed to. We agreed to have a space to meet in. So it is what it is. So well, I have that argument. Yeah. Yes, let's hope. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Now I need a place to put another TV. Why? Mm. Oh, you want to take that one? Okay. Push that new one here, put one on the wall. Yeah. yeah. So we won't need that one. Thank you for your kind donation. <laughs> we appreciate it, sir. Uh, the temporary, right? <laughs> so, is that, is, is that TV like? Uh, I know. Well, I know. I, I noticed that you that you bought on like Windows and stuff. Is that a computer monitor? Uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a TV, Brian. But yeah, it, you you choose this as a computer monitor. Okay. So I'm just, and your computer, if the computer that has Windows is actually the one you just put up. Yes. Okay, that's what I thought.